The West Kensington and Fairhill neighborhoods of Philadelphia are known as the Badlands. They are home to what law enforcement officials say is the largest open-air heroin market along the East Coast, with some of the purest heroin available anywhere. There are countless, countless drug trafficking uh, groups and organizations that operate in and around this area. That's Pat J. Trainer, a special agent with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration here at the Philadelphia Field Division. He recently drove me and a freelance photographer, Melvin Epps, around the Badlands. At one point, Mel rolled down his window to get a better shot. Be careful about putting that camera out too much. <laughs> so, you know, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll back up off. Yeah, yeah. Mel rolled his window back up. And as we drove past people in tattered clothing, past buildings that looked like they'd seen better days, and garbage-strewn vacant lots, Trainer described the fierce competition among the numerous drug traffickers in the area. In order for them to be profitable, in order for them to be successful, they have to sell uh, uh, high-purity uh, high purity heroin. Unfortunately, this need is causing many dealers to lace their products with synthetic opioids, in particular fentanyl, which is anywhere from 80 to 100 times more potent than heroin. And Trainer says the purer the product, the more deadly it is, the better it sells. There is no greater endorsement for a hero, heroin trafficker than when his or her product uh, uh, kills someone. Again, um, if someone dies of a fatal overdose, again, there is no greater endorsement uh, for that uh, stamp, you know, that heroin than, than that. Philadelphia had more than 900 overdose deaths, many of them opioid-related, in 2016, as opposed to 720 in 2015. Philadelphia leads the state in numbers of people dying from drug overdoses. Trainer says there were 3,383 fatal drug overdoses across Pennsylvania in 2015, the most current statistics available. Uh, so the numbers are just uh, numbers are just staggering. How many uh, how many overdose deaths? I mean, we in law enforcement have not seen anything uh, uh, anything like this uh, at all. It is just it is just horrific the amount of people that have uh, that have. Uh, that have died. And it's not just people in cities who are using and dying. Most of the people who come here um, to, to buy heroin are not necessarily from this area. Again, I say most, not all, but most of the, the customers that come here are not from this area. They're coming from uh, uh, suburban counties. They're coming from other, uh, uh, other parts of the city. Jose Benitez is the executive director of Prevention Point Philadelphia. He says it is the second or third largest needle exchange program on the East Coast. Prevention Point also serves as a soup kitchen and operates as a 25-bed shelter during the winter months for people with substance use disorders. Prevention Point provides free medical care and mental health treatment to those at highest risk for IV drug use and HIV AIDS. Benita says the population of those registered for the syringe exchange program has risen to 8,800 people this year from 4,200 two years ago. We've doubled the amount of people that we're seeing on, um, on heroin. So it's pretty scary at this particular point um, in terms of the number of potential overdoses that, that, that we could see in the city. Benitez agrees with Trainer that the opioid crisis is crisscrossing all layers of society. It's a crisis that knows no boundaries. So we're seeing um, affluent people. We're seeing people of lower economic status, all kinds of races. So it's not something that particularly uh, sees, sees any kind of boundary. Uh, there was a lot of drugs around, so I started using again then. But uh, I got, when well, my dad almost died, he got real sick. I got myself clean for two years, but right before college graduation. Got clean for two years, went back to school clean. Uh, last two years of college, I did it right, 4.0, and two weeks before graduation, I picked up again. Yeah. So, so I went to school to be a homicide detective, and turned out to be a drug addict. <laughs> Philadelphia alone saw more than 900 drug overdose deaths, many of them opioid-related last year, including 35 in just five days in December. The numbers have risen so sharply, partly because of the presence of fentanyl and partly because liberal prescribing of prescription opioids have led to more people seeking out heroin.